Emily Neifeld is preparing a feast. All right, well, I think I'm going to start. For this meal, the menu is Spanish-inspired, centering around paella, a traditional dish of seafood, sausage, and rice. I really love feeding people, and I love seeing when people are excited about food. So when somebody comes in my home and is like, oh my gosh, that's so good, that gets me amped up. The guests she's feeding at her home in Northern Virginia tonight? Strangers. Chef Emily is one of several hosts who work with the online supper club, Feastly. A couple of years ago, organizers Noah Koresh and Danny Harris started recruiting others to expand their foodie network. Feasters, or diners, choose from a range of meals designed by the chefs, often for about $30, then book a seat. And then you show up, and as you'll see this evening, we'll have uh, many people who don't know each other coming to gather around a table and eat together. Hope you guys are having a fun time here. I really... Love to welcome people into my home. And- Yet Koresh says evenings like these are about more than just the food. Yeah, I think what we're doing is really bridging that online, offline gap that exists. You know, we, we always have this image of a guy with 5,000 friends on Facebook but still eating alone. Somewhere between the paella and the sangria, diners learn they're not quite strangers after all. It's a, it's a great way of experiencing something, you know, different. Um, and also, you know, it's actually like not too expensive either. It's part of a growing trend of supper clubs, happening far from the confines of a regular restaurant. As for Emily, she earns money, which she says helps pay for the cost of this meal and her next feast. Padmanandarama, The Associated Press.